So, we got a tease, and we got yet another release. Ooh, the storm is coming. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Jay with Brother Cousins Toy Reviews, and that's right, I am back with the news. Okay, people, we're gonna jump right into it. Last night, we got a tease. We got a tease from She Hulk, <laughs> but it's not She Hulk. Let's check it out. And boom, here it is. Yes, we have the first tease of the new Daredevil figure from She Hulk. We all know he had a costume change in there, he had more of a he had the yellow he had the yellow panels on top of the uh, on top of the red and you know harking back to the way he looked in the comic book and some in some appearances so yes we got that it looks cool i can't wait it looks just like honestly it looks just like the regular version that came out a couple years ago when he was on netflix looks like the netflix version just with you know they highlighted the yellow the yellow areas and just spray painted it yellow it, but it looks like the same figure um from this point um yeah man i can't wait to see what we get with this guy i hope we get you know some of the same elements that we got from the last release i doubt that we'll get that base that he came with which was probably one of the best bases um diorama bases that have come with any hot toys figure um i really hope we get some of those parts but i doubt we get that um but yeah this thing looks good so far on this shot it's real funny to me that we get <laughs> a figure from she hawk and we don't get she hawk that is very interesting but i can't wait to see what they do with this line i know a lot of people were real i think it's fair to say that a lot of people was mixed on she hawk um me kind of included and i mean completely mixed because i kind of liked it and then i kind of didn't like it it is very weird but yet very entertaining show still um but yeah i it's gonna be interesting to see what we get from that line um we could actually get an abomination from that line you know they could really go in deep if they wanted to um but i think we'll get this figure and we'll get she hawk and that'll be it with that line i think that's as far as they're gonna get i'm interested to see what they would do with she hawk i really want to see that figure i think that would be a real cool figure even though i know people didn't like the show the figure itself would be awesome so i'm all in on that um so yeah i cannot wait um to see more developments from this figure and the potential she hawk figure that we would get um now i want to jump on to our release today let's go and look at it that's right we got it up let me go ahead and do it like this and go ahead and refresh the page and there she is that's right we got white widow <laughs> we got our white widow she looks amazing i'm so glad that we were able to get this figure and we got this figure pretty quick i thought it was going to sit on this one um as you guys know we recently uh we recently just got the the black widow in her final costume in the film um we recently got that maybe like i don't know maybe like three four weeks ago so this came very quick um so i can't wait for elena to come out i know they're going to bring her out pretty quick um that looks like the going trend with this series so that's going to be great that is going to be cool so just looking at this one right here automatically i love the head sculpt on this one i love the head sculpt on this one much more than the head sculpt that came with the um with the recent release this one looks better to me you get that sculpted hair it looks awesome it looks cool let's go through these pictures real quick and she looks great i don't like the lighting on this photo that that well I, I i i don't but i mean you see that outfit and that outfit looks amazing it looks stunning i think this is the one that everybody wanted i think that's a fair i think that's a fair assessment everybody wanted this one i mean you kind of seen black widow in a black outfit and i think i think all of us can say the best one well it's kind of hard the best one would be the one from endgame but that suit from the last from the latest um release is amazing that suit uh the final suit that she wears harkens back to her look in the comics but the head sculpt isn't the best so you know i still think the uh the black widow from endgame is the better option 
But this one right here is amazing. We haven't seen Black Widow in a white outfit before. So we definitely want to get the snowsuit. And this snowsuit looks great. It looks awesome. Ben, I mean, it looks like it's the same material of any uh, Black Widow outfit. It's just white. It's just white. Um, but it looks dope. The contrast is great here. Love how it looks. I think she looks amazing. Look at that. The head sculpt. The head sculpt is decent. It's a decent head sculpt. The sculpted hair. Yeah, I mean, it's cool. I'm not I'm not mad at it. And I know some people, you know, we can get into a whole thing of sculpted hair versus rooted hair. I think for this look, the sculpted hair is working. And Hot Toys has been doing some phenomenal stuff with their sculpted hair as, as of lately. So, you know, um, it looks it still looks good here. I do think it looks a little toyetic right in this area right here in the way that it falls. But um, it's forgiven. We can make it still we can make it look good. We can make it look good. See, right here, it looks definitely more convincing. It's all about lighting, ladies and gentlemen. It is all about lighting. And I've learned, I have learned to not judge a figure too harshly until we get it in hand. That's, you know, we've seen that a lot this year. Um, so, and this one goes, but and this one goes, you know, to that as well. I really do think this looks good. I really think the uh, head sculpt on this one is way better than the latest release. Um, even the hairstyle. I like this. I prefer this hairstyle, actually, um, opposed to the last one. Um, but yeah, I think she looks great. She looks awesome. Once again, you can see. And I can definitely see that's uh, Scarlett Johansson. I, I do think this likeness of Scarlett Johansson isn't as strong as the one from Endgame, in my opinion. I think the one from Endgame, I think the, the uh, Scarlett... Uh, Scarlett Johansson, uh, Black Widow from Endgame and Infinity War are the best Black Widows and have the best likeness to Scarlett Johansson. This one comes close. This one comes close, but um, still eh, is not 100% there. Not 100% there, but it definitely comes close. I mean, find me a better figure of ScarJo as Black Widow. Find me a better one. Seriously. I mean, I mean, a, what a better company that does it better. I mean, Hot Toys is kind of killing it. So, pose looks good right here. You can see how that material stretches. Um, yeah, looks good. Like I said, it's the same, pretty much it's the same business. It's business as usual with Black, with, with these Black Widow figures. The outfit is pretty much the same that you would get from the, from the uh, Black outfit. It's just that the highlights on this one is different and it's white. But I think people are really liking with this one. They're going to like the color contrast, having something a little different in their collection. Also, that head sculpt. Definitely. This one looks good. Yeah, I definitely want this one posed up with Yelena. I think that's going to be awesome. I think that's going to be amazing. Another amazing shot. Guys, she looks good. She looks good. Definitely. I think she looks good. I'm feeling it. I am definitely feeling it. Definitely feeling it. See what else we got here. <laughs> Hot toys. How do they do their eyes? I mean, the eyes are just amazing. Like that looks like a human. Looks like a human. You do some light Photoshop work. Couldn't even tell the difference from a still of the movie. Oh, looks great. Don't like this. <laughs> don't like this lighting at all. I don't even know why they added this picture. Oh my God. Yeah, this makes it look terrible. <laughs> but once again, guys, this is all lighting. Lighting, you know. You put it under harsh light, you'll get harsh shit, you know. So yeah, it looks like a toy, you know. It looks like a toy right there, but still looks good. All right, there's a little bit more convincing. Absolutely absolutely let's go through these pictures look at that pose look at that that looks dope and i like the white uh fingernail polish that you see right there that's that's uh, little details like that i like you know and her earrings oh, scarlett johansson is so pretty she's so she's so beautiful beautiful woman beautiful woman that yep one of my many celebrity crushes she's great i love this pose right here i love this shot this is great looks good like this right here sells it to me. This right here makes me definitely want to go and buy it. 
Looks dope. I didn't even like these little baton hangy things. I know they were in the snow and I know they were gonna use it for the snow and stuff like that, but I didn't like how they looked. I don't like them with the figure even. I'm just like, Ugh. I'm not posing mine with these. That's more like it right there. I think this is more of a pose that I would do. So you go, there you go side by side, you can make your pick. And like I said, man, this outfit right here on the right, man, it is, it's a wonderful outfit, but I just, the head sculpt, man. The head sculpt is cool. It's not bad. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not bad. And it's not bad at all, but still, I mean, yeah, man. I think people want the I, want, I think people want the one on the left the most because it's something different. But this suit right here, gotta have it in my collection. Gotta have it in my collection. I'm definitely getting both of these. I'm definitely getting the white, um, the snowsuit. That's definitely coming. I'm gonna get the snowsuit before I get this one. I'm kind of trying to wait for some discounts to get um, the one on the right here. But they look good. It's a beautiful shot. It's beautiful. Beautiful shot. So a beautiful shot. Yeah. This looks dope. Booty watch. Booty watch. Booty watch. Sorry. I had to do it. Couldn't help myself. But I mean, come on. How many booty shots do we get with Black? We that's all we get with Black Widow. We get booty shots. They make sure you get a booty shot with Black Widow. Man. All the Joe. Scar Joe. Mm -hmm. she, she, yes. Ah, chef's kiss. Um If y'all thought I was going to stop the booty watch, don't stop. Can't stop. Won't stop. Bad boy. Uh, but anyway, this figure looks dope. Looks amazing. Loving the pose. Loving the articulation. Of course, you get a lot of good articulation with, with Black Widow figures. Like I said, this is more of a convincing shot. Looks good. She looks great. She looks great. She looks great she looks excellent um and that's my my final analysis i think it's amazing <laughs> i think it's a great figure um i'm definitely going to be adding it to my collection sooner than later um so you'll be getting a review from me on this one I'm not sure if it's going to be a day one i'm gonna kind of wait for sideshow i think they've been getting the black widow figures in pretty quickly so um yeah i think i'll wait for sideshow on this this is not going to be a hong kong grab from for me um bo katan it's a whole nother story um speaking of bo katan she is in route i just got the notification not too long ago actually 10 minutes ago so um she is in route um i should be seeing her tomorrow between tomorrow and friday so as soon as we get her in we'll uh get a review going for you guys and that'll be great um coming up i got mech test tony um, he came in yesterday. I just finished filming a review, so I'm going to be editing that and putting that out later today. Um, I should be on Say What tonight. Um, maybe a little late, but I'll be on Say What with Lel, one six scale man tonight. That's going to be great. And of course, best of the best tomorrow. We got lots to talk about. We got a lot of releases. We're going to talk about all the stuff that was released this week and possible upcoming releases. So stay around for that. We also got um, damn, we got a um, we got a, a contest. And I'll give more about that contest on Best of the Best tomorrow. I'm still working out the details on that, but just know most likely we'll be giving away a Bo-Katan figure. Uh, so yeah, stick around for that. And that'll be towards the end of the year and all that, you know, holiday for the holidays. We wanna give, we wanna give something to the wonderful community for the holidays. So anyway, guys, that's gonna be it for me. Remember, like, comment, subscribe, bang that bell for notifications and all that good stuff. I'll see you on the next one. Peace, and we are out.